Hey guys, my name is Matthew, and today we're talking about a trip I took a year ago to Costa Rica for dental tourism. A year later, how are my teeth? Here we go. So a year ago, I took a trip to Costa Rica from the United States for dental tourism. Dental tourism, if you're not familiar, is the process of leaving your country of home to go get dental work done somewhere else because it's less expensive. It's actually pretty popular in the US and in the UK because both of these countries have incredibly expensive rates for dental work. For the US, we like to go to Costa Rica or Mexico because they're closer. The UK tends to go to places like Turkey or Hungary. Um, and then if you're elsewhere in the world, Thailand is also another pretty popular place to go. The reason you do it is because you can get the same or similar dental work done for a fraction of the price of what you can get it done in your home country. And that's exactly what I did one year ago. I actually made a video about my travels to Costa Rica, including all the vacation kind of elements, plus the dental work, and I put them all in a video. It should pop up in a card right here. This video is about how I feel a year later. I've got three major ways that that work had changed my life, and I've also got kind of an update on durability and how they're lasting and how they're doing and all those types of things. The first way that dental tourism changed my life is actually this YouTube channel. I actually started this YouTube channel because I was taking that trip to Costa Rica. I felt like I had to document it. I'd been thinking about and, and trying to decide on a YouTube channel for a long time, but it really made sense with that trip. I had to figure out a way to get some of this news out. And I knew a lot of people who wanted to know about dental tourism. They didn't know if it really worked or if it was worth it or if it was going to be really scary and all those different things. And so this gave me an avenue with which to start. Starting a little over a year ago, I posted a video at least every single week since then. And while lots of those videos have since been unlisted because they were kind of naff and they got like 20 views, I've become a much better filmmaker because of this YouTube channel. And so I really appreciate the fact that this got that that actually helped me to jumpstart my YouTube channel in general. The second way that my dental work has changed my life is it has changed the way I look. That seems obvious in so many ways that once you get dental work, I got a significant amount of dental work. And so when I look at the pictures of myself from before and after, it's a huge difference. I barely recognize the person that I was before. And that's a good thing. I'm much more photogenic and I just look better. It's one of those things where you don't really notice that someone's got a bad smile, but that person always does. And so I always recognized that my smile was bad. I also had some health issues that were going on with some of my teeth. And so it was such a big deal for me to go and get them done because I just look so much better after than before the dental work. That's something I really appreciate about it was I really do feel like I look a lot better. A third thing that has changed about my life is my confidence levels. Now, I don't want to say that I'm super, super vain and that my, the way that my look affects the way that I act and all that, but in some levels, that's true for everyone. I really do care what people think about me, and I was always very self-conscious about my smile. Even if I wasn't doing it actively, I'd come into a new situation and I would be kind of changing the way that I acted because I wanted to kind of hide my smile. And now it's not even a concern for me. I don't think about my teeth when I talk to other people. Not because I think my teeth look so great and so like it hasn't turned the other way where it's a pride thing, but I just don't have to worry about it anymore. 